All right, we're doing some more recording. Uh, we're back in close to tight spaces. Wow, we're very close to the end, too, which is nice. Like this fight and medical and the next fight, which hopefully I can win. If they don't, you know, not win, lose, you know. Um, and then after this, I think I'll either play Divinity, uh, for games-wise, Divinity Original Sin 2 or... Uh, BPM bullets per minute because I picked that game up recently because it's on sale um, for like eleven, twelve dollars, like that. Link pretty low. And to be fair, the game itself is only like fifteen, but still. <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into this. Sorry, I'm getting a headache. Why is there even stairs behind this thing? Because there's no point of... Hey, it's the first time we've seen this dude this entire game. The auto attack machine gun guy. Seriously, first time I've seen him all game. Let's see here. Ooh, I really want to do the early bird and hit him in the face, but I know I'll get auto attacked for one damage that way, so let's pass on that. Um, do free movement first. He has turn to face, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah, and he has counter, and this dude has... Chonk, Chonk is the best name for that, that's hilarious. Half of them have turned to face. What is with this game? Seriously? This game is really frustrating sometimes. I have no ways of attacking this game. Or this turn. I spend the emergency move, but I don't want to do that. Um, I really wanted to use this, but uh, I guess I can't. 48 armor? Are you kidding me? Who gave you an extra 8? Oh, you give 8. This block persists between turns, but I don't think it... I'm not sure if he just continuously gains 8 or not. We'll see. If that's the case, I'm going to have to get rid of the chalk pretty quick. Okay. Move here. Um... If I do bob and weave, I'll get hit by one of the attacks. I'll get hit by the this dude's attack. Hmm. I can use well, I'm gonna use cup cups for sure. I think those would be nice to use, but I'd be trapped in the corner. Oops. Trapped in this corner, because I would have to move out of danger. Probably you have to move for this card. Instead of emergency move, I should have just gone from here to here with Bob and Lee. But whatever. Whatever, whatever. What's done is done. Can't attack this dude either because he's got counter for 40. That's all of my health except for 5. So 3 times 6 is 18. 18. Uh, on, on, on. Good 
enough to heal me to full. I think I need 13 to heal me to full. We'll do it. Got through him now. Nice. Very little health and tons of bleeding. Don't like that you're moving this close to me every time. Not great. I don't like it. It feels too far away now for the camera. If I'm too close, then I can't select anything in the corner here. Oh, I can just redirect him. That'd be easier. I'll just redirect him away. And not move anywhere. I think. 24 damage. I'll take 9 health. Or 9 bleeding damage. I always pocket sand someone. Here's what we'll do. Now he can't counter me. So I can do all sorts of damage to him. As much damage as I can to him, damage to him as I can, because uh it's important to do that while he has stun. Because he's counter otherwise. Back to the corner. Okay. He takes nine damage, he'll have twenty nine health, I think. Uh should be. Still have the bleeding as well. 29 health, he'll take 24 damage. So we'll have 5 health, but 8 bleeding. So he'll die next turn when it is over, I think. When my turn is over, that is. That's annoying that it's right in my path here. And you're trying to look at me, but there's no point because you're just going to summon dudes anyways. Okay, um... It doesn't matter what I'm doing. 36 for damage. Only take the 30 since he had 6 health. If I redirect him, he won't summon the dudes, I know that. I shouldn't summon the dudes, rather. But I'm not sure if he'll go back to attacking normally or go back to summoning next time. He did summon a dude. That's weird. Oh no, that's just a normal summon. Because he summons thugs, I think. Okay. He's back to normal attacks. This dude is dead next turn. Interesting. So... This dude is going to charge, kill him, and he will attack him next turn, because he's dead. So as long as I don't mess with those two at all, I should be able to take out, at least do some damage to these ones. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I should be able to get this dude down to like almost dead or killed even if I don't move I should be able to do that at least we'll do 
That's not close cool stuff, but it's fine. This. And then we'll do grapple to this space. We get shot. Like that. Then if I do right spin kick, he should die, I think. Yep. There we go. I should be able to be fine staying here. Uh, there is a dude spawning in there, but I can't do anything about that. Attack him. Yes. Good, good. We'll damage them that way. Got a basic ninja. That's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to stay here. You're supposed to move, uh, rifleman. All right, well, I'll go take care of the ninja then. Ninja has 64 health. Takes more damage now. Both of them? Well, he is retaining it. That's BS. Look at how much health, uh, armor he has. Oh my gosh. He doesn't gain anymore, but that one dude was giving him armor every single... Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, of course you move. I don't like this fence here. I don't like it. Um, let's see here. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna get rid of the ninja. I do not want him around. Emergency move away because I don't want to take 20 damage from this dude. Anyways, if I go here and separate, he goes off the edge. When he falls out of frame like that, it looks like there's just like an endless abyss below me, and then I turn it. It's just like, oh. Slightly further down. <laughs> okay, but since I'm unwilling to take extra damage from him, I'm gonna go, see, go here. So it'll force them to move more, even more spaces. Oh, good. Regular enemy. That's fine. Okay. Um, he's a rifleman. He doesn't care about that. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. Retain block. I have retain block. That's nice. 20 damage, though, still. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. I'm going to have to find a way for them to kill him for me. I don't know how. How much damage do you do? You do 20 damage. Well, 12. 18 of it, I mean.
Let's see here. I'm gonna move here actually. That can be the throwing star. No, it won't break the armor. That's fine. Whatever. Do it like that. I'll take two damage from his charge thing. It won't be as bad as the entire 20. Shot in the face, why not? Um, I had separate here, that'd be really nice. I don't have it, so if I do bob and weave here, they'll turn and shoot me. Maybe it'll go past me and hit that too, which would be nice, but. Do anything about it, so I'm gonna have to leave it alone. Just let him get shot in the face a couple of times. Okay, this is good. He's within this dude's range, so as long as I move to the side. Again, I'm not sure if he will turn and shoot. And if he does, I am going to call BS. Because this is oh, it is. And I won't have a, I won't have a movement ability, so I would have to take forty damage. So let's not do that. We'll just do the easy way, which is doing it that way. Oh, this is this is not the cone attack one. There's one that's like push in a cone or something like that. I don't have a great way of doing this. Actually, I do. I have a perfect way of doing this. Thank you, game. Gone. That annoying enemy's gone with. We don't have to deal with him anymore. I can go back to doing this normally. Cards here. Uh, that's right. I only have the one because it's a new draw deck. Because of course it is. And not be inconvenient. 14 health. Um, no, that's fine. One health. Oh no. Not spawn it. I spawn another rifle. Please. Please do. Five of nine. So these are the last four. Maybe. Should be the last four. I would say. Plus two damage mod. All I really want is the plus two damage mod there. I don't need the extra damage, it only has two health anyways. Gaining 24 block at the start of each turn, but it's not permanent because he doesn't retain it. Actually, you know, actually get the money reward for once, you know? There, I actually get the money reward for once. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I'm recording later than I usually am. Usually I record earlier in the afternoon. It is like 7 or 8 at night right now. So. Still pretty light out though, which is interesting. Whatever. I'll just do the easy single kick. Better positioning. Well, we did that with the wrong thing. Oh well. It's a weird way you decided to do that, but that's fine. Anyways, what is 16 times 3? times three is 48, I think. My math is correct. Which is enough for this dude, but not the other one. So we'll just go like this. And get rid of them. Nice. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, we'll just go here. Oh, you gotta line up, you gotta get, this guy's gotta get closer, and this dude's gotta stay here, so I can do hit each other. That'd be really nice. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Ain't decent bleeding for him. Okay, we got Seven five three four one. This since he can't counter me, he's also not facing me. This dude is facing me, so if I did, he'd still be. Well, unless I move back to him first. But I missed it. All right. Well, this is easy enough. Sight because I don't need any of them currently. Uh, I guess take both of these, it doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, knock four enemies out of the ring. Oh, that's nice. Attack for 30 damage or lose eight if unplayed. Ooh. 
that could be good or bad. I don't know if I want that or not. I don't want the counter since I kind of need more block in case I get slapped with damage. But I hit the counter because I'm more worried about. Oh, why did I hit this? I meant to go to the gym because I have full health. I'm just doing it. Uh, I guess I'm doing this then. It's the last one anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think a single card would make a huge difference. I mean, sometimes it would, but most of the time it won't. What happened to... Oh, they didn't spawn them all at once? This, that's right, they don't do that anymore. Okay, you need to leave immediately, because you spawn thugs. And even though they're not great for um, damaging me, it's still better if I get rid of you immediately. As fast as humanly possible. Well, as fast as humanly possible. Well, let's see here. Do I have a shove of some sort? I do not. You have 108 health. That is a lot. You have 96. You have 99? Is that what that is? 99? Yeah, okay. Okay, um, let's see here. How am I going to do this? I'm glad that of these three, none of them have turned to, turned to face me. That will be really annoying. Anyway, it's either move here, use shift, and then what? Uh, or it's from here, you shift. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that. I don't, I'm not wanting to use emergency move immediately. That'd probably be a mistake. In case I actually needed it later. For now I'll just damage the my completely boss that uh, cannot be pushed. It'll end up probably being an issue later. The early bird needs a better uh, animation than just kicking him, him in like. Legs. Looks like the hook kick right now. Be nice if it was something else. I don't know what. But... There's the annoying one. I could just probably eliminate these guys as best as possible one at a time, but he's going to spawn dudes every four seconds, and that's going to be really annoying. Fortunately, this dude has a range of three, which means I'm going to have to retain at least one movement card to deal with that. Uh, I just hope of the random enemies that they spawn, they don't spawn the stupid Jade Staff Enforcer guy, because he's going to use my damage, and I do not want that. That would really suck. Anyways, we'll do it like this. I'll do it here for now. I'll shift past him later, I think. No, wait, he has turn of face. Um, I'll shift to, like, here or something. Whatever. We'll see how this goes. Fully aware that I cannot kill him in one turn. The nature of boss enemies and all the enemies in these later stages means I can't kill them in one turn unless I have something like shove to shove them off kill zone areas or something. I get the pretty damage though. Let's see, where do I want to go to? It'd be best to just go like here or something. There's potential for them 
boxing me in though, which is a little bit dangerous. But what can I do about it? Okay. A wee bit tricky here. <sighs> okay, um... Probably going to have to use my emergency movements. I have to be honest. I don't know. Only logical one. Now, I have the choice of either swapping place with this dude or this dude, or picking apart him, but it would still be in range, or moving here, which he would turn and probably slap me, using an emergency move to go over here, or swapping and using an emergency move. I think I'm gonna swap with that completely boss. Probably be the best thing. And then hopefully moving out of range. I don't know. Sorry, I'm thinking. It's kind of a tricky situation here. Well, I'm gonna do what I can. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a way I could do it. Hold on, let's do that. Swap with him. Still in range of him. Now separate him. Whack. Him. Now he's fighting, fighting him. Nice. He's also dead now because uh, he'll do 24. We'll do 30. And he will die. But at least got the moves off there, so that's nice. Nice. Oh, ninja, that's fine. Interesting that he's there and not next to me, but okay. Because boss is the next one to take care of, I think, because he's the next most annoying. This auto attack is really annoying. Not being pushed is really annoying, but not as annoying as auto attack or spike armor. So, what is this the way I think I know how to do it? Which is just grapple him over here. As long 
as I don't move, you should remain facing that direction. Theoretically. Even though I want to damage him more, I'm going to have to end the turn, I think. Maybe. He won't auto attack anymore, so he might turn to face, but he can't do anything else about it. So maybe I'll just keep him as is. You know, actually, if I redirect, I think it should force him to attack as well. Here, we'll do this. We'll do. No, because I want him to attack him. So. But he's already attacked, so he's not going to. So it doesn't matter. You're not going to attack because you don't have roof flow. Anything. Nice. Direct him to attack him again. That's good. Let's do that. This dude is really taking a beating. <laughs> I wish there was a push to to uh, base card, but whatever. I don't care. Okay, let's not do something stupid. I do 29 damage. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm going to shove him so I don't get shoved out the door. turns and attacks me. Because I know he's going to turn. But if he turns and attacks me, I'm going to use my words to move to that area. So I should, theoretically, have this miss. Good. Okay. You have a range of two. That's nice. That's very nice. We'll just do it the easy way, which is that. Just let him get whacked. Okay, I'm fine with this. You have 11 damage I have to deal with you. So... Let's see. Um... This is annoying. 
really want to kick him out, but I don't have a means to move this dude. Auto attack for you, sir. Leave him as is, because if I move him. I won't be able to survive attacks that come. So. That ablating into two turns, anyways. Or one turn. Depends on. Let's turn this. Okay, we're going to. Remove to here. Pump up. Power through. Delete gratification. Um, break this to you. This here. And then I'm just gonna move out of the area. Okay. The boss is dead. So we'll do So I'll retain that block for three turns. Nice to have just in case. Okay, um just a little bit of damage. Then 24 and you're on the ground. It's dead. That thing spawns. <sighs> okay. So other than the annoying spike ninja guy, this dude is taken care of because as soon as I move, this dude's going to kick him in the face. And then... And he'll also be standing here, but he attacks first, so let me do that that way. Am I? Okay, um, we'll do. Fifty-eight. No, oh, um. So you do 30 and you do 24. Theoretically, I could block both of them. 16, 4, 20 damage, 20, and 7 bleeding. Enough to kill both of them. I don't need to do it that way. I could, but I don't need to. Um... Also do it to the spike and the guy. Don't go through his armor though. It's not a really heavy point not to do it, but build the combo up, I guess.
four, then you hit by only the one. We'll do that, I think. This dude's annoying, but he's actually pretty useful because he has 30 damage and I can use him to wallop the others if I need to. Did it say it did 7 bleeding? Why did it only do 3? This one in the upper left it said it did 7 bleeding. I even did like a double take, like, really? 7 bleeding? Like, what? But maybe not. Oh, what am I doing doing that first? Um, I need some redirects is what I need. So that's eight bleeding, that's plenty. Um, there's all my redirects. <laughs> Going to utterly annihilate this guy here. Just saying. It has 11 health, that's not great. I was expecting counter to work, but maybe not. 24, 24 is 48. Uh, And we'll do this then. It's a stupid way. Now I'll dodge it and counter and kill him. Okay, I'll just have two bosses and two ninjas. Okay. I'm fine with that. The ninjas are not terrible. There's still one enemy somewhere. Or going to be. At one point. Take no damage. Now that I've armored up, I should have done this first. Oh well. One's dead, and I take nine. I don't have the armor anymore. So I can do this. I'll move to the side. Regular thug. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's acceptable to me. How much damage you do? 16, that's it? That's really lame. Exceedingly lame. Now I have the red frag, really. <sighs> to dodge, okay.
Так. Just stand here, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I want to redirect him, but I also want to use this guy as damage. Bleeding. Um, gonna end up going over now again, probably. That's fine, since I changed the settings so it would go past an hour now instead of cutting it awkwardly. So that's good. And if I had gravel now, that'd be great, but I don't. <sighs> okay, um... <sighs> okay, um... Let's see here, we'll do... I don't want to use him, but I don't have the option of choice anymore. I have to make this take a long time to to cow chops to death or whatever. I will do it. I don't want to do it, but I will do it. This counts as an attack or not, since it's one of the movement things. It does. It's fine, whatever. Hold on, hold on. Where did my dodge go? Right? Did they use Bob and Weave? Did he use it on the spiked armor? If that's the case, that's weird. It's not something that should be a case. That should be a case. Just checking my settings real quick to make sure I had changed it so that it didn't split recording. It didn't. It, it isn't going to. Just to make sure though. Um uh, redirect and give me front kick, I think. No. Counter stab because it gives me armor. Okay, let's see here. 18 times 3 is. Um, um, 54, I think. Forty-two plus twenty-four is sixty-seven. Four is not enough to pass that, unfortunately. 
off of movement, so it shouldn't do it there. Theoretically. For you to do the spike there. So if I do. You also do 24. Decent, I think. Good. Okay. Gosh dang it, this is not working well. Okay. I'm gonna end up taking 24. I was stupid not thinking, right? The way this is gonna work. But I can take out, I think, the boss. I'll do this right. It's nine. Is it more than nine? Maybe it was more than nine. Well, that's fine. I take 24 from this dude, so that's all I can deal with right now. It said nine in the upper left. I'm certain this time that it said nine bleeding. I think the game is thinking the bleeding in the upper left is getting affected by the damage mod, but it's not. I don't know. So. Okay, now I can take out the last two in a leisurely manner. So they don't, you know, make any untoward mistakes or anything. But I forgot that this is person. Whoopsies. You! They'll take more damage from me. Die. All right. I'm gonna reload my uh, huge deck. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, this is personal again. Cool. Take that. I take pocket sand of seven damage. Sorry, 11 damage, because it doesn't do the boost right on the cards. <sighs> yeah. Robin Weave. Spiked armor must count as an attack, because I didn't... Whatever. And we win. Nice. Who, who is this? Who's the Black Mass? Who's the black mask that's like, no one could have predicted this? Well, that was another run through of that. That was the slasher deck I actually managed to get to the end with. It. I'm surprised considering I was just like, we got to the end once and then I was like, the next deck, we'll do it again with this one. And then I got all the way to the end in one try and I'm kind of surprised to be honest. Um, Anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from this now and play probably uh, a little bit of Divinity. I mean, I'm going to swap back and forth because of course I am. But um, I'll play some Divinity and I'll play Bullets for a minute or whatever. And yeah, that's how it'll go. Maybe I'll play some Undermine some more. I did not realize how big of a game Undermine was until I looked at the like patch notes or whatever, not patch notes, the uh, update notes or whatever for on Steam. I was like, look at all these familiars. And it was like a list of eight or nine. And I was like, that's a lot. I thought there was only the little bird. Apparently there's more. Um, but anyways, 
Yeah, bullets from Internet or Divinity or both. Play some of those. Um, I might pick up uh, Endless Space again some more. Um, I don't know. And I, I'm kind of Endless Spaced out, to be honest. I played some with my friends, uh, like a few games. And a few games is like 200 turns each. 200, 200 no. 300-ish turns each. Which is a lot of turns. That's a multiple nights worth. For like four hours at a time. It's, it, it got a little bit too much. So we switched to, to Astroneer for a while. We have been. So I might play some Astroneer by myself as well. And uh, we'll see what, how it goes. Anyways. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah.